Hello guys, my name is Prince and this is my center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Post your comments and questions on my social media handles and I'll respond to it. We are on the topic variation. We have considered direct and indirect or inverse variation in the previous videos. In this video, we are going to consider joint variation. Joint variation. In the videos on direct and inverse variations, we learned that if x varies directly as y, it's written as x is proportional to y. And if a varies inversely as b, it's written as a is proportional to 1 divided by b. We can see that in each of these cases, there are only two quantities involved. In the first case, we have x and y. And in the second case, we have a and b. But in most cases, quantities depend on two or more other quantities. So we can see that for here, we have x and y, that is only two quantities. And here we have a and b, only two quantities. But in most cases, quantities depend on two or more other quantities. For example, let's consider the formula for the area of a rectangle. From the videos on mensuration, we learned that the area of a rectangle is equal to length times breadth. Looking at this formula carefully, we can see that the area of a rectangle depends on both the length and the breadth. So the area A depends on the length L and the breadth B. Another example is this. The density of a material is equal to the mass of the material divided by its volume. So for density, it depends on the mass and the volume of the material. So density depends on two other quantities, mass and volume. If you have such a relationship where a quantity depends on two or more other quantities, that type of relationship is referred to as a joint variation. So in fact, joint variations combine two or more other variations. So for joint variations, it combines two or more other variations. We are going to consider three cases of such combination. The first one is when you have a combination of direct variations. An example is x varies directly as y and z. So for joint variation, you can have a combination of direct variation. So here we have x varies directly as y and z. We can break this statement into two parts. The first part is x varies directly as y. And the second part is x varies directly as z. So x varies directly as y and at the same time, it varies directly as z. From the videos on direct variations, we learned that if x varies directly as y, it's written as x is proportional to y. And if x varies directly as z, it's written as x is proportional to z. Now, because this is a joint variation, we have to join these two variations together. Now, how do we join them together? We have x here, we have x here, so you write one of them. We have the proportionality sign here, we have the proportionality sign here, you write one of them. Then we have y here and z here. You join these two, so you are going to have y times z. And this will give us x is proportional to y, z. We know that we can't work with this proportionality sign, so we need to change it into an equal to sign. And to do that, we introduce a constant of proportionality. So if k is the constant of proportionality, then x is equal to k times yz and x is equal to kyz. Now you can see from here that x is dependent on y and z. So one quantity is dependent on two other quantities. This is an example of a joint variation. Let's consider another case of a combination. You can also have a combination of direct or inverse variations. The first one we considered, we had a combination of direct variation. 
in this second case you can have a combination of indirect or inverse variation so for example s varies inversely as y and inversely as z what this statement means is that one x varies inversely as y and two x varies inversely as z from the videos on inverse or indirect variations we learned that if x varies inversely as y is written as x is proportional to 1 divided by y if x varies inversely as z is written as x is proportional to 1 divided by z now since this is a joint variation we are going to join these two variations together so we have x here x here you write one of them we have the proportional sign here we have we have the proportionality sign here we have the proportionality sign here you write one of them then we join these two so one divided by y times one divided by z and this will give us x is proportional to one divided by y z we are going to introduce the constant of proportionality that means that we can change this proportional sign to an equal to sign so if k is the constant of proportionality then x is equal to k times 1 divided by yz and this will give us x is equal to k divided by yz now since k is a constant we can see that x is dependent of both on both y and z this is another case of a joint variation we are going to consider the third type of combination that is, you can have a combination of a direct variation and an inverse variation. So in the two examples that we considered, we had a combination of direct variation and a combination of inverse variation. Here, in the same variation, you have a direct variation and an inverse variation. An example is this. S varies directly as Y and inversely as Z. So in the first case, x varies directly as y and in the second case x varies inversely as z now how do we write this we learned that if x varies directly as y is written as x is proportional to y if x varies inversely as z is written as x is proportional to 1 divided by z so if you are combining these two we are going to have x is proportional to y times 1 divided by z since we have x here x here you write only one of them you write one of the proportionality signs then you combine these two so we have y times 1 divided by z and this will give us x is proportional to y divided by z we are going to change this proportionality sign to an equal to sign so we are going to have x is equal to k times y divided by c by z since k is the constant of proportionality so we have x is equal to k times y divided by z and this is going to give us x is equal to k y divided by z now k, we know that k will be a constant so we can see that x is dependent on both y and z this is another case of a joint variation so we've considered three cases when there is a combination of direct variation when there is a combination of inverse or indirect variation and when there is a combination of both direct and inverse variation so when there is a combination of direct variation that is x varies directly as y and z x is equal to kyz when k is the constant of proportionality when x varies inversely as when var x varies inversely as y and inversely as z, it's written as x is equal to k divided by y z, where k is the constant of proportionality. And when x varies directly as y and inversely as z, it's written as x is equal to k y divided by z, where k is the constant of proportionality. Take note of these expressions. We are going to use them to solve questions. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In the next video, 
We are going to use what we've learned in this video to solve questions on joint variation. Bye-bye.